face. All right, ready? Three, two, one. What's what good, is? family? You right. know your voice automatically overpowers over mine. It doesn't know, automatically you overpower you. Have, I, That's I where Haley get her competition from. I don't compete. Competitiveness. I don't compete. First of all, stop woman splaining. Because how is that woman splaining? Because you're talking over me. If you don't be quiet. We, we, we got mansplaining out there, y'all. We got woman splaining. She is talking over me when I am trying to talk. I am very offended. Highly. Highly offended. But I was I started talking and then you tried to interrupt me. No, so I do not actually you interrupted me while I was already talking. No, that's not true. Yeah, it is true. No. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. So you're just right all the time and I'm always wrong? I didn't say that. That's what you acted like. You're always but just right. I don't care how I'm acting, but that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> you're acting like she's acting like she's always right. Oh my no. god. Here we go with this woman splaining. Whatever. Now imagine like I remember hearing a woman say that. A woman said this guy, this this political dude, he was mansplaining. And I was like, now nah, imagine if a man said that back to you. Nah. Like, imagine if he said that back to you. That'd be, be mad. Man, that'd be, that'd be considered sexist. Yeah. But since she said it, like, he, he kind of got mad and went on a rant. I was like, dude, now you look like a beta male. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it always looks beta-ish when we argue with women. It always looks beta-ish. When you see a dude just sitting there arguing with a girl, it's like, man, let that shit go. You ain't never going to get nowhere. She's going to keep screaming until... She gets a point across, so you know. Exactly. So might as well just let it go. Yeah, just let it go. You know what I'm saying? Here's what you do, man. Here's what you do. <laughs> no, because that just irritated me. She just said, "Here's what you do. At the very beginning of the argument, you hit for the jugulars. You go for the most disrespectful thing you can come up with. You and go just say low, it. basically. You go as low as you can, and then after that, like let her run off, because that one thing is gonna have her mad all day long." Alright, so you can't talk about anybody going low because you just told everyone that's what to do. In the hey, I'm not Michelle Obama. In the, um, I'm not Michelle Obama. When they go low, we go high. I'm Charlamagne the God. <laughs> when they go low, get right on the floor with they motherfucking asses. Childish. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we're about to react to Bill Burr's epidemic of gold digging horrors. Oh, wow. Don't know how he's still on the internet. Or at least on YouTube. YouTube right? Yeah, like, whoo. Anyways, subscribe to the channel, make sure I post notifications, smash that like button up, 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 up. Watch this video all the way through. We appreciate you. For shizzle. You don't like it? You don't like doing it with me? No, that's why I like, that's why, that's why I pause so you can say it. Because oh, okay. like, they say you don't talk enough, Kayla. Somebody said your voice was sexy, so you need to talk to them. <laughs> all they think is I like this one lady, like this fucking feminist. And that's why oh. I'm calling you a feminist. She interrupted and said, she said, no, she said, uh, all I do is interrupt you when you talk through the whole video. Well, I barely even talk, so. Kayla is mellow, y'all. Really? She got a mellow personality. Yeah. When Kayla wants to talk, she will talk. And, and I'm Ka sure you've seen that in the videos. Like, exactly, she talk. talks. He lets me talk. It's not like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, let you talk, you talk. Don't say letting me, because then they going to think like... They gonna, I, I talk. I talk. He's physically abusing her. That's what they think. They think I physically <laughs> abuse you. What does that one comment say? He's, what do you he say? He was like, she probably acted like that because you had her in the hospital last night or something. No, like he that. said you probably because she don't want to get another black eye, and then yeah. I po and then I commented back and I posted like the punch emoji. He said ha 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 ha, and I posted the punch comment like like he was, and then the dude, some dude commented was like savage. <laughs> you can't troll Cam because all I'm gonna do is troll you back. Yeah. I like it. I think it's funny. Let's get let, let's go. We're not into let's go. I'm afraid to get married, man. Why would why wouldn't as a, why man wouldn't be afraid to get married at this point? You know, look at Kobe. Look at the shit he's going through right now. All right, the guy's getting a divorce. His wife's gonna get seventy million bucks. Who? <gasps> Who? <gasps> Imagine if you got a divorce. Oh my God! I never heard that. Never heard of that. That's never heard a of lot. seventy million dollars. Oh my God! Let's keep going. I don't even want to talk about it. Let's That's just keep going. How does he have enough for that? 70 million dollars like holy shit oh shit see this is what i'm trying to never mind let's just keep going i'll just keep going bro 70 million dollars bro i gotta look that up when we're done who and who was he talking about kobe uh, who kobe? kobe kobe bryant yeah this was so this is a long time ago kobe dead now r.i.p that's the peace kobe let's keep going they hit a layup in her life <laughs> can anybody explain these divorce settlements? Can anybody make sense of these fucking things? Tiger Woods' wife, two hundred fifty million dollars. Wow. He's a babysitter with a quarter of a billion fucking. 
I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta keep interrupting, but listen. I would sometimes I be wishing I was a woman. Not how easy it'd be to come up. Not how easy it'd be to come up. Not how easy it is to come up. Two hundred and fifty million dollars. Yeah, if you don't care. At what point can't you say that's ridiculous? That's a lot of motherfucking money. But you want to know what they base these divorces off of? Like they base them off the lifestyle the woman was living before she left the divorce. It's like I mean before she left the marriage when she got the divorce they base it off of that and then they give her that lifestyle so like if, if the like jeff bezos wife i think it was like some billion she almost got that's i don't a, know if they divorced I mean, but i know it was like billions that's a lot a billion dollars how could you be okay with taking that much with someone a billion dollars like a billion a billion dollars now nah, you gotta go you you gotta go that's what she going that's what she doing <laughs> you, you going, that's why you gotta pay. Nah, you gotta go the other way. <laughs> oh no. Then, <laughs> then you gonna be in jail. Yeah, ain't nobody gonna know. I got a billion dollars. I got automatic, I can hire a team to make everything just disappear. I'm just playing. <laughs> <Just disappear. laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's keep going. You fucking dollars. Somebody, go ahead. Somebody, explain, justify it. Justify it. What? What? He cheated on her? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. He cheated on her. Great, the relationship's over right then. Kobe cheated, right? Shouldn't that relationship been over right then? Why did she hang around like some jaded cop for three years trying to get her fucking pension, right? Get that 10 years in? <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's too harsh. No. That shit bothers me, man. Dude, there is an epidemic of gold digging whores in this country. <laughs> and every night I put on the news, and I'm waiting for someone to address it. Every night, never see it, you know? And every night I bring up gold digging whores and the whole crowd pulls back like I'm up here talking about Bigfoot, right? <laughs> like I'm saying the moon's made out of cheese or something. <laughs> talking about whores, people. They're everywhere. How many? How many more great men are gonna get chopped in half before we do something? Why is it so quiet in here? <laughs> God damn, I don't get it. I was just thinking that everybody quiet because they, they're probably sitting next to one. I'm just playing. I'm good. Why you say you're just playing to me? I wouldn't take it personal. Oh, you said I'm just playing. Oh, yeah. That's why they're so quiet. So why did you feel the need to say I'm just playing? I just felt that's that. That's how you feel? No, I don't feel All that. Right, that's cool. All right, let's keep watching. Is it? Is it women? Do you think I'm calling you? A, I'm not calling any woman here a whore, okay? So don't pull back. That, that's not fair, okay? If you brought up wife beaters, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like pull back. I get it. There's guys hitting women, they need to be stopped. We gotta understand that gold digging whores are the wife beaters for men. Yeah, they are. Except we don't have that Rihanna lumped up photo in the end. So it's not obvious. It's in the eyes. It's in the lines in your face. It's in Mel Gibson's high-pitched voice on the answering machine. I had to give up my Laker tickets, right? <laughs> that is the sound of a man being taken for everything he's got. <laughs> I gotta tell you, sis, I'm envious of women, okay? I'm not saying your problems get solved, but at least they're taken seriously. <laughs> you know? People, you got 1-800 numbers, you, get, you, got, you got ribbons, there's groups. People give a shit. Anything happens to a guy, it's just considered funny. That's true. That's true. Because I don't know why every, it don't matter who I talk to about Cardi B. Everybody laugh. Everybody laugh. But then when you talk about Bill Cosby, everybody mad. Like, it's, it's like, like people care about women's problems, man. But that's a good thing, though. We should care about women's problems. Because, man, remember, 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 feminism is fighting for us. Because we, because in society, men are consistently told to man up. Man up, and that's the problem. Man up, like, that's the problem. We're telling men to man up. It is always funny, though. It is always funny. Everything that happens to a man is funny. Not to me, goddammit. Why is it funny? Cause, bro, they don't take, nobody takes men's problems seriously. Like, if men come out and start talking about, oh my god, my issues, so they start calling them beta males. Oh my god, my issues. <laughs> but I didn't mean to say it like that, you know, okay, let me say it with some more mask <laughs> in it. My issues are bad. <laughs> Put some more deepness in my voice. Let's keep going, man. He's funny. Some woman cut her husband's dick off, threw in the garbage disposal, and turned it on. 
People thought it was hilarious. They were like, eh, hey, hey, Stumpy, Be nobody sad. cares. I mean to. You think if a guy removed a woman's titty and threw it in the dryer, anybody <laughs> would be joking about it the next day? The entire country would grind to a halt. There'd be a moment of silence. The NFL would have some special colored headband everybody had to wear for an entire month. The most effeminate color they could possibly come up with. All my heroes are going down. Arnold Schwarzenegger, another great man. Another great man. Taken down by that gold digging whore of a maid he's got. And I'm not, I'm not saying he's not a piece of shit for doing what he did. It was a piece of shit move. But how come only he got chastised? What about the maid? Why was she called the maid the, that entire story? She was never called a whore, ever. <laughs> it just boggled my mind. She knew his wife, first name basis, played with their kids, fucked her husband in their own goddamn bed. That's right down the checklist. First ballot Hall of Fame whore, right there. <laughs> never. Why do you think she hooked up with them? because of that 1987 flat top he's still rocking. <laughs> the giant space between his teeth, I could put this mic cord through. What do you think, maybe it's all that kindergarten cop money laying around the goddamn bedroom. No, <laughs> oh, it's awful. It's a horrific thing to see as a guy, watching guys go through that shit, you know? And then there's no, there's no sort of examination of it. They just go, ah, he's an idiot. Hey, stupid. <laughs> that guy's stupid, if that guy's stupid, what the fuck am I, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Does it even make sense? Why would you do that? Why would you accomplish all that and then fuck it up, hooking up with one of the ugliest human beings I've ever seen in my life? <laughs> Not saying I'm a prize, I'm just saying, you know? it has got to be something beyond that, right? You know what I think it is? I think it comes down to the way he talks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that dude should be unloading trucks in Transylvania. <laughs> that should be, that should have been the height of his success. But because he's a great man, he had the balls to move to America. Became famous for lifting weights. I lift weights, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> he lifts weights, ah, 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 becomes super famous. Did he rest on his laurels? No, next challenge. I'm gonna become an actor, despite the fact that nobody can really understand me. Against all odds, he starts making movies. Get down, there's a bomb. Get out of there. <laughs> Becomes one of the biggest blockbuster stars of all time. What are you gonna do next, Arnie? I think I'm mad at Kennedy. There's no fucking way you can do that. Bam, he does it. <laughs> Cherry on top, I'm running for governor of a state I can't even pronounce, and he wins the election. <laughs> Why wouldn't this guy think he couldn't bang his maid in his own bed and get away with it? This dude has been in the zone for over four decades. Four decades, nothing but net. Bang a maid in my own bed, dude, that's a layup. Are you serious? I had a hit movie with the midget. I don't even need a condom. Right? And then what happens? The smoke clears. Then all these trolls come out of the woodwork and start judging this great man. All these fatties, these fucking old guys who never got any with their jowls. Coming on TV, absolutely reprehensible behavior. <laughs> what kind of a public servant? His, his, his legacy is shrouded. <laughs> like they have any idea what it's like to be tempted at that level, right? Like they have groupies as they waddle out to their mercury tracer parked on the other side of a dumpster. Really, you're beating them off? This guy, he's not a great man anymore. Terminator doesn't count. Is that what the fuck you're telling me? Because he fucked Alice, really? He's still not a great man because he did that. Then that's, the whole thing's over. Anybody here think they could move to Austria, learn the language, become famous for working out, then be a movie star, then marry into their royalty and hold public office? How many lifetimes would you need? I'm on my third attempt at Rosetta Stone Spanish. All right. How can I judge these guys? I can barely handle the temptations of Facebook. I'm gonna judge Tiger Woods. Yeah. I golf, I don't walk off the 18th hole and there's a busload of Scandinavian women waiting to fuck my brains out. Sorry, ladies, gotta go home to the wife, right? 
No, it kills me. And there's no help out there for guys. <clears throat> there isn't. There's nothing out there to help you handle becoming rich and famous. There's nothing to prepare you for that, for that platoon of whores that's gonna form on the horizon, right? Like Braveheart, faces painted, skirts on, will run down the hill, they'll jump on your dick in front of your wife. They don't give a shit. Hold on, I have a question for you, Kayla. Why do you think women are drawn more to successful men? Within the wake of everything coming from Me Too, why do you think women are drawn to successful men if women think that successful men take advantage of them? Uh, I don't know. Can I answer this question without all the negative comments? Okay, hold on. Listen. No, go ahead. I got you a block one. No, I'm, don't no, say I nothing don't, negative in the conversation. You're going to see me. I don't I'm just care playing. You can say whatever you want. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm not like, Fuck worried you. about the negative comments. I'm just saying, like, I don't want to offend anybody. Go ahead. Say, say your mind. Say your mind, Kayla. They want you to talk. See, he wants you to talk. Go ahead. What was the question again? My question is, why do women go after successful men? What's the point? Because I feel like a lot of men, women are talk. They're just all talk. What you mean, Kayla? They're not walk. Like, I feel like the same the same woman that'll be in like that the same woman that'll be saying, Oh, you know, the Me Too movement, you know, successful men take take advantage of females or of women is the same woman that would definitely go for a ball player or someone who's successful. Like why? I feel you. Yeah, they're gonna jump in the comment section. I got her. I'm going to say it better for her. This is what I think. And I'm going to come off sexist as hell right now. I think that they, we teach men not to cry in this society, right? We teach women to chase after successful men. We don't teach women to check the character. We teach women that successful men are the way to go. They're the better men. You know, um, truth be told, the definition of success, the more I learn in life, is... In my opinion, it's just my opinion. Everybody has a different opinion. No, actually, the definition of success is just doing what you wanted to do. I don't think that changes. Like, if you wanted to be a teacher, you become a teacher. That's success. But see, women aren't taught that that's success. Like, going after the thing you want to do. They're taught that the ball player is the successful person. Or this guy's a successful person. And I think that the hotter a girl is, the more likely she is to go after that. Because that's what she can attract. <laughs> I think women attract. I think women have the richest guy they can attract. And men have, I don't know. I think it's all, again, if, like, if you ain't got no money, you ain't getting no females, bro. I'm just straightforward, man. I don't care what nobody say. If you ain't got no money and you a dude, you ain't getting no females. Why are you spending that? I'm going to stop because I'm trying to like tread carefully because I know like um, Me Too is going to be in the comment section. And to, to clear up the Cardi B, just in case, because I know like somebody's going to be a jackass in the comment section and be like, oh, well, Bill Cosby's raping those women. Technically, Cardi B was too because she was drugging the men, having sex with them, and then taking their money. She was robbing them. She was doing the same thing. So that's what them jackasses in the comment section is going to be like, oh, well, how can you compare that? You can compare it. It's the exact goddamn same thing. She was putting shit in his drink, putting shit in his drink. Bill Cosby putting shit in their drink. Period. I'm surprised a whole... You, hey, chill out. Chill out. Calm down. I'm in your head now. I'm surprised a whole wave of guys ain't came out and said, Hey, she raped me. But that happens every time when a successful man comes up to the public. Hey, hey, yeah. what's wrong with you? That happens all the time. But I don't know, like, again, like... <laughs> I believe the women, though. I believe some of them. Comment down below. It's not even a handbook out there. I saw one article written about it on, on the cover of Time magazine. It said, why do so many rich, famous, and powerful men act like absolute pigs, right? And the article was actually written by a woman. That's like me writing a book the third trimester and what to expect. <laughs> Ladies, you're gonna feel a pressure. How the hell would I know? You don't wanna hear that from me, right? Then why is this woman telling me what it's like to have a dick? That makes no sense. You have no idea what it's like to have a dick. 24-7. Do it, do it. Fuck it, do it. That's what it's saying. Do it, do it. Yeah, do it. That's how we survived as a species. Every man in here is programmed to fuck 85% of the women in this room. Right? Yeah, we are. Do it, do it. Fuck it, do it. You know? It's just that you won't. That's the only reason why we don't. You know? That's not you keeping your dick in check, you know?
some guy at, at Home Depot working there, he wants to fuck just as many women as a celebrity, right? But he, he can't do it because whores don't care about lumber, right? <laughs> But the second he hits the fucking lottery, all of a sudden, you know, that do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know, that wasn't affecting his life. Then all of a sudden these whores show up, I'll do it, I'll suck it, I'll do it, right? <laughs> no, somebody's got, somebody's got to step up, all right? I'm not even blaming whores, really. Just guys, we're fucking idiots. What are we doing? Why are we working so hard and then giving it all away to some chick who did three shifts at a, at a fucking Hooters, you know? They're fucking bums. Sitting there with fucking Dorito dust in their cleavage, walking around with hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm sick of that shit. That's what the law says. hundred years ago, I could beat you with a fucking mop handle. I'd be like, well, that's what the law says. Doesn't make us right. Wow. No, it's unreal. And all this shit's going down, and we don't, we, we're not doing anything. What are we doing? Same old shit. Sitting around watching Shark Week, right? <laughs> watching shit about poisonous snakes half a world away, just filling your head up with all this useless information. What to do if you come face to face with a Bengal tiger? Don't look at it, don't look away. Slowly back up as you push your friend forward, right? All this useless information, yet hanging between your legs is this thing that could crumble your entire empire seven minutes or less. Don't know a fucking thing about it. Even worse, you think it's your friend. Yeah, you know why? Because your dick, your dick's like a dreamer. You know? Your dick believes. It's like a motivational speaker. I don't give a shit what question you ask it. It's always like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sounds like a plan. Exit strategy. Later. We'll be fine. Where's your dick when you get caught, right? Then it's just slumped over. Like, hey, I thought it was a good idea. Yeah. You have to know that. Dude, your dick, if your dick was a third base coach, it wouldn't hold anybody up. It'd just be fucking waving people around. Everybody, go in standing up. You got it, you got it. Oh shit, here she comes. Slide, slide, slide. All right, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. I hope you had as good a time as I did. Thank you. He's controversial. Mm. Clear, yeah, Kelly might want to clear up that for the comment section because they go, ow. Oh, you're saying that all women in moments don't mean what they're talking about? I got you, I clear. You want me to clear that for you? Or, or you want to speak? Go ahead. Say what you want. I think what Ke I think I think what Kayla meant, and I don't know. She can correct me on this if I'm wrong. But I think what Kayla meant is that I don't think the movements are ridiculous, but I, I understand why they exist. Feminism exists for a reason. You know what I mean? I know we're gonna get some ignorant people in the comment section that's gonna say some weird shit. But you gotta understand, there was a period of time, like he said, a hundred years ago, you could beat a woman with a mop and nothing would happen to you. That was a hundred years ago. We are not there anymore. But definitely you could you used to be able to do that. You used to be able to do that. With that being said, that's why feminism came into existence, because women didn't have rights. So they were fighting for women to have rights. That's why feminism exists. Now, I know where y'all are gonna go with this in the comment section. It has took a whole fucking left turn. It has took a whole left turn, the feminist movement. And this uh, this Me Too shit is ridiculous. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. The Me Too shit is ridiculous. Because some t some of the stuff they're catching is, you know, Harvey Weinstein. I, I think Bill Cosby's not a good man for what he did. I do. I, I, I'd lean more towards R. Kelly being the terrible dude. I don't like Bill Cosby for other reasons. Uh, that ain't got nothing to do with the girls. I don't like Bill Cosby for other reasons. But these movements seem like they're just taking on a whole other level of bullshit. The last, uh, I think it was a woman that was... Uh, not even think. There was a woman that was part of the National uh, Women's Organization, that website. On her website, she was saying how she wanted to take the, every every sign that said men at work, she wanted it to be taken down. She wanted it to have both. Like, have people at work or something. Like, shorty, you can get out there and dig that ditch then. It's kind of ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like, they're just pointing out anything. We don't want to be called women. Because it's wool men. You're making it seem like we're less than men by putting wool men behind it. Like, oh, you don't shut the fuck up. And and, 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 this, and this, the sad thing is, I looked up how many feminists there really are in this country. It's like 95% of women in this country disagree with feminism. 95% of women. I thought, I was like, man, there's hope. Thank God. Like, 95% of women disagree with feminism. It's like that, it's like, it's that, it's like that high. That high in numbers. So... Shout out to all our feminist fans. <laughs> Go ahead and unsubscribe. <laughs> or subscribe. I'm just playing. Subscribe. 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 We love y'all. We do.
All right, y'all. Haley, get him out of here. No, don't do that. Don't do that.